And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Another Kaiser University postgame show means another Kaiser University win. This time it's women's soccer defeating Southeastern 2-1 to one in a game where they fell behind 1-0. But Kaiser University comes back, scores two goals in the second half to win this one. I'm here with Joanna Engberg and Elsa Nets. And Elsa, we'll start off the questions with you. What do you attribute this season to your play and goal? Um, it feels good, of course, to, uh, with the team and everything, not have conceded too many goals. And yeah, it feels good. Joe, we'll, we'll start with you. Coming off the bench, yeah. scoring two goals in a big game for you, not just for you, but for the team. Down one nothing, scoring two huge goals to put the team ahead. Actually, you broke the school record for game-winning goals in that one. So how did that feel for you? I mean, it was nice. Uh, I don't know what else to say. It feels really good coming off the bench and scoring, obviously, two goals and uh, contributing to the win yesterday. Absolutely. Again, to reset, Kaiser University defeated Southeastern. This was a battle of undefeated teams. Kaiser University fell behind one nothing. John Angberg had both goals to take a 2-1 to one lead, and defense would hold on for the final five minutes to finish this one out. Elsa... How big has the defense been this season, not just helping you, but for the entire team? Uh, the defense have, I mean, obviously been very good. We have a good back line um, with good subs as well, so we can always have a good line there. Uh, and, yeah, as I said, it feels good to not, I mean, we haven't conceded very many goals, so it's, it's a good defense. Absolutely have to agree with that. We've seen a very stout Kaiser University defense. Joanna, what are your expectations? Final year, what do you see down the road for this team? Uh, final road, I see uh, Orange Beach, Alabama for the fourth year in a row. Uh, not only the final four this time, but actually making it the whole way, especially for our, like the seniors, it's our last chance to actually make a mark and to beat another school record so yeah that's pretty much my expectations absolutely understandable kaiser university looking to go back to orange beach for the fourth year in a row and make some noise out there in alabama really quickly a final question for both of you i'll give you a chance both of y'all from sweden to say you know hi or something uh to the people who will watch this at home so why don't you go ahead and say something to the people at home uh hey allihopa Kul att ni kollar och tack Lin för att du gjorde så att jag fick vara med i den här intervjun. Ja, jag vet inte riktigt vilka som kollar men jag saknar alla där hemma. Speciellt min familj, mamma, pappa och min lilla syster. Tack! No idea what's going on, but I'm sure they said hi to their families. So that'll end it for us here. Kaiser University defeats Southeastern 2-1. Again, Kaiser University fell down 1-0. Joanna Engberg scores twice. The final goal breaking a school record for game-winning goals to defeat Southeastern 2-1. Kaiser University stays undefeated on the season, stays undefeated in conference play. Saturday, right here on the Seahawks Sports Radio Network, they will take on Ave Maria. It's a women and men's soccer doubleheader starting at 1 Eastern, men starting at 3 Eastern. And that'll do it from us here from the flagship campus of Kaiser University in wonderful West Palm Beach, Florida. Reporting live, Robert Gutierrez on the Seahawks Sports Radio Network.